Hi guys, Dave here. Um, today we're just going to change this hydraulic fluid in my bulldozer. I've got ISO 68 oil here. Um, so initially what we need to do is drain out the old fluid, uh, which I'll take out from a bung under here, and um, drain that out and then replace it with the new and put in another um, filter in here as well. Hydraulic fluid is utilised for all of the lifting rams at the front of the machine and uh, will lift the blade up and tilt the blade. So you use a lot of um, hydraulic fluid which has got a pump inside there to pressurise the rams. Um, that's pumped around the system to actually do all the various tasks that you require them for. We can replace it via this hydraulic uh, cap here. The drains under here and over here we have the filter and around the side is the eyeglass. So I'm going to put in some ISO 68 which is uh, suitable for this machine and replace it completely. Okay guys, so I'm going to use my little persuader here. It's um, got a drain plug under here which is all, what I'll use to actually open it up with. So if we'll just... Okay, so I'm just going to undo this and drain out all the hydraulic fluid. Okay, so now I've just drained it out, and uh, hence the reason for draining it out. I had some water leakage problems which went directly into the uh, oil, so which has caused the cloudy oil. So hence the reason for me replacing the oil in the hydraulic container. Um, you can see the colour of it, it's gone quite milky, which is not great. And I uh, just put that there, and I'm, I'm really happy to actually change it over. As I said, I'll replace the filter as well. But uh, this is the reason you actually do maintenance on the machine so that you get rid of problems like this. Right, so I've drained all the oil out and I'm going to replace the bung in the bottom, tighten that up, and then we'll add the fluid. I've already done the filter. Okay, so just adding the oil now, we'll add all this and then add in the uh, required amount. Okay, so I've added all the hydraulic fluid now, and as you can see, the, the le ever le level on the side is right up to the mark. Uh, I've replaced the filter and I'm just putting it on the top, and I'll give it a run and then check the fluid again. Uh, in, um, in about uh, half an hour. Okay, so that's really all there is to changing the hydraulic system oil. Uh, very straightforward. I'll give the engine a bit of a run over the next uh, few days. You just keep an eye on the fluid level uh, and top up if, I if, if it's required, which I doubt it will be. Thanks very much.